Welcome back to the closet, my cool people. In this epic episode of Mac Music Review, we're looking at the song Gold by Imagine Dragons. We're going to do a little bit of an analysis and then a review of the song at the end. Um, let's check out this song, and I guess here's the either the album cover, or if it has specific cover art related to the song, here's the cover art for, you know, the song. Gold is one of the darkest songs Imagine Dragons has ever made. I mean, just this huge epic rock music. It's on their darkest album, and really they haven't gotten this dark since doing their album Smoke and Mirrors, which I think is the best Imagine Dragons album. I'll link my review for that album and, you know, my Imagine Dragons ranked if I remember it. But, you know, Gold, Imagine Dragons, this is a really hugely epic song musically. Lyrically, of course, the song references King Midas with the chorus saying, Everything you touch turns to gold, and it consistently references that. So, in my interpretation of this is like looking at it from a position of power. So, Imagine Dragons, after the debut album, became probably the most powerful alternative band around at that time. They were so popular, and to this day, they still are. Uh, basically because of just how commercially successful they've been but this is th that what this song like the you know short greek short story greek or roman short story about king midas he becomes super powerful and he has the ability to turn everything into gold but then it ends up becoming a bad thing because you know he turns his loved ones into gold and that's what they're saying is that basically just when everything you touch turns to gold and then it, that's what they say in the chorus when everything you love turns to gold and then it's like with this very dark menacing music uh, you're just supposed to leave that up to your imagination. What does that mean? It means things are not going to be good. Going through the lyrics line for line, the first verse, the song only has two verses. It also has a bridge. Besides that, the song is very repetitive. This is a very chorus-centric song with a pre-chorus, and then the chorus, and then a post-chorus. So this is just a very, like I said, chorus-centric song. But the, here comes, this is the verses. Uh, first comes the blessing of all that you dreamed, but then comes the curses of diamonds and rings. So this is saying that riches corrupt, riches are bad. So a very common narrative, something you've heard before, but they're reiterating that classic story. Only at first did it have its appeal, and now you can't tell the false from the real. You know, when you get when you make it, there's going to be a lot of fakeness. There's going to be a lot of deception in their record label, in the industry. There's going to be a lot of people lying to you to try to get your money. And it says, who can you trust? And the pre-chorus just repeats the line, who can you trust? And then just says, when everything you touch turns to gold. After he says this, the chorus kicks in with this booming drums, booming music. It's blasting. It's insane. It's huge. It's epic. And, you know... I think Imagine Dragons is a band that works the best when they're fi firing on all cylinders, when they're really going for these huge epic songs. And they don't do it that often, but I think when they do, when they try to be as ambitious and huge sounding as possible, I think they usually hit the mark, and I think this is an example of that. They really do hit the mark with this song. This is interesting. This is something I didn't notice um, on my first, my first uh, review of this. But in the second verse, statues and empires are all at your hands. Water to wine and the finest of sands. I'm not really sure what the finest of sands would be a reference to, but water to wine, of course, is a reference to Jesus turning water to wine in the Bible. So that's interesting, saying like they almost have this God-like power, the power of Jesus turning water into wine. So that's, they're making a divine allegory, first to Midas and then even to Jesus. So that's, that's interesting. I didn't even notice that the first time I listened to this. And then when all you have is turning stale and it's cold, you know, when you touch something and turns to gold, it's stale and it's cold, it's lifeless. Uh, oh, you'll no longer feel when you're, you'll no longer fear when your heart's turned to gold. So saying that not only are you corrupting everything around you, but you, you yourself are becoming corrupted by your riches. Um, and then, of course, in the bridge, I'm dying to feel again, oh, anything at all, but I feel nothing, 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 nothing at all. Dang. Yeah, this is actually, this This is a well-written song. I, I like the lyrics. It, it seems fairly simplistic, but it's cool that it draws from history. It draws from legends. It draws from King Midas. It draws from the Bible in this imagery and all to communicate this, pow this song, which really, if some other smaller band was singing this, it wouldn't feel as relevant. But because Imagine Dragons are singing it and you know that they are probably... You know, they're speaking from experience as they reach the pinnacle of popularity with that album. The most successful it could like possibly be. It was crazy huge. Still, those songs still are huge. Made them the biggest band. They really are. They, I, feel, I feel like they have the authority to speak from this position. Um, yeah. As you can tell, um, 
I like this song a lot. A lot of people say Dan Reynolds isn't a very good vocalist. I think he does very, very well from a vocal perspective on this song. He really sings his heart out. And that's what I like when he's just belting. He's just going, going at it. And he's going at it in this song. I think the song is well written, as I have pointed out. And I think musically, my, my one complaint with this, and this is my complaint for like all Imagine Dragons, is it's very repetitive. It's extremely chorus-centric. But that's not a huge problem because the hook is strong. And it really is just a very epic, very dark song. And I think it just works very well in all respects. And so I'm going to have to say that this is a great song. It is. Um, it, it just is. Gold is a great song. Thank you for watching the video. Like I said, you can check out my review for um, Smoke and Mirrors. I actually really, really, really like this album. I don't listen to it that often. Just because of the whole Imagine Dragons being like really repetitive. And I've heard it a lot already. And it's just like... I don't know. It's a pretty dark album, so it's not something that's that fun to listen to, but I still think it's a great album, and I would recommend you check it out 100%, especially if you're one of those people who's like jaded and just like, oh, Imagine Dragons, they're the worst. Why would I listen to that? It's Imagine Dragons, but it's, it's actually pretty good. Um, have a great rest of your day.